Hi there and welcome to Good Enough Scenery. In this video I'm going to be showing you how I made the riser tiles, just a couple in the bottom right at the moment. So when I first came up with this board it was really important to me that any higher areas of uh, play were actually properly playable. So the riser tiles can be used as a board edge as they're being used in this case, or they can form a massive central hill. They're not the most complicated to make but I still think they are worthwhile making uh, and they've added a real um, element of different playability so I'm really pleased with how they've turned out. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how I've textured them, how I've flocked them, how I've cut the holes in them and everything and how I've uh, put them together. Not the most difficult thing in the world to do but like I said it's still worthwhile doing so this is how I did it. One of the very simplest boards to make or tiles to make and um, one of the, the higher ones so our foam and we are going to create rocky texture across the whole thing to start with. So it's going to roll this across, maybe create some damage in places as well, but it's trying to get this uneven rocky texture. So that is with some texture added. So what's going to happen? We're going to have these on the bottom, lining up as well as we can with the edge. Then we're going to glue this on, and then we're going to glue that on, and that's going to be one. I just realised that uh, we can store some scatter rocks under there. So all we're going to do to stick this down is just use some glue, glue gun. Closely positioned the first time, because you don't get a huge amount of time so lining that up as good as we can with that edge. So be careful with this again because we're not going to have a huge amount of time so in theory if we lay up, line up one edge at the back here it should be close. Higher pieces done, and so this is a like the riser that we just made, but a, a little bit different. So I've um, I've done the texturing. I missed out a few bits. You'll see why in a second. Um, and this is stuck to this, which. Um, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't for something else, but then I changed my mind about something or other. So anyway, uh, so what we've got is this kind of big hollow. We've got this, I've just stuck um, some things. So this is going to make sure that it's all the right height. So what I thought, this might work. It might be absolutely horrendous. Kind of cool if I actually cut out some chasmy type bits. thinking, we'll see how terrible this looks, is that we have that like that and paint all of this jet black. A few bits in the surface which are a little perilous shall we say. of interest there. I think we'll make the... the thing is that have it like that but if you grabbed, if you're not sure you can just grab a scatter bit of terrain and chuck it on top or even, that might be cool, you'd have it like that. Joyous. Yeah I like the idea of really adding some some depth to that so yeah, next up will be to paint that all completely black, which you don't really need to see me do. So this is our top piece, 
thin enough. I think the, the black and that down there just makes a real nice sense of proper depth, minerals. So we're going to do some dry brushing on the tops of these. The majority of it is going to be flocked anyway, but I still like to be complete about this. So loading up the brush, getting the excess off, and just going perpendicular so it's hitting the higher detail and leaving the higher the detail, the lighter it gets. So I'm going to do that on the rest of it. So they are dry brushed, looking a lot more rocky now. Um, next up will be to flock them. So we're going to flock these now. The way we're going to do it will be very simple. Got some PVA glue and I'm going to make sure the edges of this are thoroughly um, glued and then the rest of it we can um, be a bit more loosey-goosey about it. This block here and make sure the edges are covered and then the rest of it can be loosey-goosey with. that to dry for a little bit and then I will tap it off <coughs> and reclaim some of this grass because not all of it is going to stick. It's going to do a couple more things here so I've uh, got, some, got some matte scenic sealant spray and I'm just going to cover these tiles and that. This will help and do two things for us. It's going to help keep that block down but it's also going to put a bit of a glue on the surface. And I'm just going to sprinkle some of this um, grey block. So it's called grey stone, funnily enough. And it's just going to break up the lines between grass and stone. Got some sandy type stuff here, and I'm just going to, I'm not expecting this to stay as well as the block, but just to again break up the sand bit. Um, so, same over here. Some of the flock down and then just a bit of this sandy stuff that's mostly going to fall down those holes. Another coat of this. So I'm going to add some moss. Now if you've watched my uh, video on the basic tiles then this is going to be a very similar recipe. I'm going to add a few more things into it. To begin with, I'm just going to add in a whole bunch of glue. Now the bulk of our moss is going to be this uh, light green coarse grass, ridiculously bright um, green flock, a pinch for just to add some different colours into it, and a little bit of darker but not a lot, just, and what happens is the glue will um, start taking on the green colour, and what I might, where well, that's gone really really light, I'm going to add in a some dark green, I'm not sure how much that will. Now most of us don't like a mossy crack, but uh, I'm gonna make one anyway. So we have what's left of our mix here, and I'm gonna, it's mostly not gonna stick because it's been left overnight. But. Now do. And here it is uh, in its uh, completed glory. I'm really, really happy with how these turned out. I think they really add an element of play that is 
going to be completely different to just having a little hill because so much more can go on. It can form a central objective, it can form just a side of the board, or it just going to be a chasm for a model to fall down. I cannot wait for the idea of that happening. Uh, so if you've enjoyed this, then please like the video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you know when any new videos are released. And leave any comments, good or bad, I want to hear what you think about the Rise of Tiles, about any other things that I've put on the channel, or anything you'd like to see as well. I'll catch you for another video soon.